Shalom, family. Shalom. <laughs> I'm just excited because I feel like um, the Most High is lining up all of us so well um, to bring messages and to receive the messages. So I'm just so excited about that. And I hope you are too. But um, I wanted to do a video about cricket because we had this big old um bath on the 24th that we were supposed to do and that thursday night i something told me to go and look at something you know just walk around around my house for something i have a long long hallway right and out of nowhere, I saw something. And so I usually like, you know, different bugs, be, you know, come into my house. And the reason why when I see bugs in my house, I get rid of them is because they're, um, unless the most high tell me not to, um, they usually come, they bring, you know, something, you know, some evil messages, you know, not all of them, but the ones that I usually, you know, kill, that's why I kill them because I can sense it, you know, and especially those little, um, uh, bugs that love the light. I think they call them moth, but, um, the little ones, those ones, and then the big ones too, you have to watch out. If you see a lot of them around your house, is a bad spirit. It's like um, someone, sent, someone is trying to monitor you with them. So you got to get rid of them. Don't let them stay in your house. They not good. Those are monitoring spirit um, uh, bugs. I know they love the light, but they um, they um, sent, sent by someone to come monitor you or bring something to you that's not good. So don't keep them in in your house. You see them inside your house, you kill them right away. I mean, I mean it, kill them right away. Especially sometimes they be so much that it is that person. Um, that happened to me one time. It turns out it was um, a spiritual, uh, you know, a, a healer, one of those, um, you know, powerful people in Haiti uh, 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 that came to my house to monitor to see what was going on in my house to um it wasn't he wasn't trying to hurt me but he was trying to see what was going on um to you know his way of trying to say it was trying to protect me but i didn't like it and then so i started killing him and so he told my <laughs> my mom cousin that i don't i don't like around working around people who's that that afraid it wasn't that i was afraid i just didn't like it so i killed it he just didn't like that that um that right there i showed them when i did that that he cannot come to my house without asking so i know that's 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 that might go over a lot of people's head but that's what's going on so when you see those bugs please get rid of them but so anyway so um and then, but before the twenty, before the twenty third, I want to tell you about about some you know another incidents where there was a bug that came into my house, and I didn't even know this bug was in my house, and I don't even know how the bug that got in right. It was one of those crawlers. It looked like a roach, but it wasn't a roach. It was really big, and um, I didn't even know the bug was there. I was just laying on my couch, you know, this couch here. And I felt something staring at me. It's just the energy, man. Those bugs, just because you see they bugs doesn't mean, or, you know, birds or animals doesn't mean that they not they can't communicate with you, man. This is so intense, right? So I looked and I saw the bug staring at me. I'm like, what bug stay and stare at you Why you laying on your couch? I'm like, what? is that that's crazy so i pick up my my uh slippers to hit it and he ran off i'm like wow and then it hit itself and i could not find this bug to save my life so i started i did what i did do best i started praying you know i had my uh, candle started praying i prayed i prayed i said father get this bug out of my house no bugs can come into my house and stay. The only spirit, the only thing that can come and stay in my house 
because the Father, the Most High, gave me this place. This is his house. Can no other thing, evil, whatever it is, can live in this house. If you, if you bug, come in here for bad. You need to leave. So what I did, I took my answers. Like I always tell you guys, burn the crap out of that incense and bomb that house with the smoke. Hmm. Three hours later, I went. Something told me, go look to see if the bug's still there. So I went to look. That bug was in front of the door, ready to go. Telling me, looked like it was telling me, hurry up, lady, let me out. I can't stay in here. So I opened the door and then it was running around, you know, trying to get out and I helped it out and he left. I didn't have to kill it. I usually kill bugs. I hate killing bugs though, but ah, uh, whoo, I usually kill them. Whew, I usually kill them and I hate killing them. So now instead of killing them, I just put them in the stuff and then throw them out. But that night, the 23rd, a cricket came in the house. I didn't know it was a cricket. Uh, I just saw the bug and I went to go get my... I made this here. This is what I used to kill him. <laughs> but I haven't used it in a while. Unless I missed the flying bug that I told you about. The one that's supposed to be love light. And so I um, got that. And I when I said, oh, maybe I shouldn't kill it. Maybe I should just need to just, you know, get it into something and just put it out. I don't need to kill bug. I don't like killing them, man. And I just don't. And so um, I went and I went by the, you know, to do what I do. Man, if, you know, how, like a cricket. I'm like, oh, that's a cricket. How did that cricket get into my house? So I started doing research on why, you know, what cricket is good for. Man, I found out that cricket was good. And if I had get rid of that cricket, I would kill my blessing. So I figure out and I said, okay. So I prayed and I read up on it and I prayed and I prayed. And I said, Father, I've had this thing about bugs. I don't want to kill any bugs anymore. So I'm asking you, please, if this cricket came here to give me a message and the message is done with, please have the cricket leave because I don't want to kill it. But if he needs to stay, I trust that you will take care of it so it could stay. And that's what I say. And I say all glory and praises to you, Father, and I love you. Something told me about an hour, I think an hour later, something said, oh, look, man, I look for the cricket and didn't find it. That cricket again was in front of my door, ready to go. So I opened the door. I didn't want him to feel like he was being, hold, hold, he was being held hostage. So I opened the door and it left peacefully. I'm saying this to you guys because Believe it or not, you can communicate with bugs, anything. If you tell the bug that you are, this house, your house is, is a house that is prepared by the most high and is for the most high. And the only thing, people, spirit that can live in this house are righteous ones. If you come here for good, you can stay. But if you if you come here to do evil, leave. If you came to give a message and the message is over with, go. No need to stay longer. But, you know, say it in a kind manner. You don't have to be rude about it. And, you know... They will leave. They will leave. And the same thing with spirits. If 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 the if uh, the dead ever visit you, or if evil spirit ever come to you, you first you communicate with them. Tell them this house belongs to the, the the Most High. The Most High put you in here, and that everything that's in here are uh or have been ordained and blessed by the Father. There's no room for any other spirit to come and 
and light there, you know, enjoy themselves and chill, okay? If you're here to disrupt, to do anything against me, anything in this house, leave. And they will go. And if they don't go, you know what to do. Get your comfort, get your um, frankincense, get your soto, get whatever. Burn them all together. Sage, you burn them all together and bum that stuff. And remember, pepper, if you burn, uh, burn pepper, spirit, evil spirit do not like burnt pepper. They don't like pepper. So if you eat pepper, put habanero peppers, you know, you know, um, jalapeno pepper in your stuff. Evil spirit do not like pepper. And especially when you burn them, when you burn pepper with, um, with, um, your incense and all this stuff, it, it would, you, would, you would feel it. it would, if you have any residue of evil spirit in you or if you pick up some negative energy, you start coughing, you would you would feel it and it would go away. So, you know, do that. And um, to bring good stuff, I have a, um, after you burn your incense and you can also burn some other stuff to bring in positive energy and positive stuff. I have, um, I have, a, a recipe. I'll tell you guys later about it. Let me drink some water. Mm. It's water. Okay. Um, so let's talk about crickets, right? Okay. Spiritual meaning of crickets. What does a cricket symbolize? Cricket characteristic and association. Okay. Okay, let's see. Before we look at similar cricket according to various cultures and what it means, if you see one, let's let's talk a bit about the characteristic of the insects and the association we have with them. Okay, just remember too, the cricket, they very um curious animal, but they, they really harmless. They won't do anything to you, so you don't have to get rid of them in your house, but they can become a... Uh, a nuisance because sometimes they have there is a lot of them that's around your house inside your house um and if that happened then you have to you know speak to it and speak to the most high you don't have to kill them or do anything just talk to the father and the father will send someone to to shoo them out okay so you won't have to kill them kill them right but if you see there's a lot and it's bugging you then you know you want to um um, get rid of it. So, um, also it's worth mentioning before we start, uh, different animals, um, grasshoppers and, and closely related to crickets in the post, we'll be talking about cricket, but it turns in terms of symbol and meaning much of what we'll see relevant to grasshoppers too. So grasshoppers and, and crickets are, you know, a lot of the stuff they, they, you know, relevant to, to, you know, it's almost the same meaning. My cricket is um, chirping noise and by making the, uh, the fact that, okay, hundreds of eggs, okay. So, so, so when on the 24th, when that happened, when I saw um, the cricket after that, the next day I did my bath, it was, you know, um, I'll tell you what it means. So the next day I did my, you know, I did my bath. I had, there was a bird next to me watching while I was doing my bath. And as soon as I finished and the bird <laughs> left and everything went okay. I did have um, my sandal, my black sandal was one of my favorite sandals. After I took my shower, I threw away the sandal that I had because the water fell in it. But then I put on my black um, sandals to go and drop the stuff, you know, walk. And then when, when before I was going, it broke. So, but I didn't turn around and try to, oh my God, I just kept on going and, and got back and then just threw the stuff, you know, in the garbage because it broke. There's nothing I could do about it. So, it went well. And that's what I'm saying. It went well. And then after that, things, mm -hmm. good things started happening. I, I went, I went walking and found some stuff on, you know, money in the, on the ground. And then there was a... Uh, um, you know, Israelite family that was selling food and stuff like that. They gave me a, a lemonade 
best lemonade I ever had and gave me um, hot sauce, habanero hot sauce and jalapeno jelly. I mean, three free things. And she, the guy was just like, ah, he just gave it to me. I had on my mask and he's like, don't worry, I'll remember you next time. I was like, wow, it was such a blessing after that stuff. Good things started coming, you know, happening, you know, after that. Okay. So let's see. Native, Native American cold tradition. Of course, that's our tradition. Um, although the many native um, tribes have very um, tradition and belief, crickets are almost universal, seen as positive and welcome creatures. To many tribes, they symbolize things that like um, things like good luck, fortune, wealth, and abundance. The Cherokee sees them as represented it, rep representing wit and the courage to success to succeed in any situation, whereas the Cheyenne uh, observe their behavior to help predict the movement of buffalo herds. So basically, good luck, um, success. You know, you'll notice that all air, all the cultures from you know different countries, different continent. Um, they all have the same, almost the same um, idea, the same concept, right? The same meaning, I should say. However, not all the American believe are positive. These Western tribes, the, to some Western tribes, you, you hear the word Western tribe. So you already know when they talk about Western, they talking about European, so-called European, the, you know, the Gentile. They're not talking about us, right? Cricket foretell bad luck. Notice the difference. You will notice the difference throughout this, especially if you see one inside. See? The backward. Hmm. Brazil. There are many different beliefs about crickets in various parts of Brazil. Some areas here singing crickets can tell you that rain is on the way or alternatively that you are about to come into some money. And Caraguatuba, different colors, different colored cricket can predict different events. A black cricket in your room foretell an illness. A gray um, one tell that you will receive money. And a green one is seen as a symbol of hope. And uh, um, and a lot go go us on the other on the other hand, cricket foretell death. If so, if people see one in their house, they kill it to prevent the death from happening. Barbados and Barbados, the belief about crickets are similar to some of these in Brazil. If you hear a cricket chirping loudly, it's a good sign since it means money is on its way, in which case you shouldn't kill it or you will lose the money. However, a cricket chirping quietly is um, thoroughly to foretell de a death. China and Japan. In China, cricket have long been through the symbolize um, good luck and fortune. And, it, and they have been kept in cages or especially hollow out gird as pet for over a thousand years. This is partly because hearing a cricket chirping was considered lucky and their appearance or disappearance was um, also mentioned and interpreted as omen concerning the harvest. Because they lay lots of eggs, they were seen as um, seen to represent fertility and they are also seen as a symbol of summer since that's when they are most common. Um, pitting them against each other in cricket fight <laughs> is a popular pastime that that uh, survives to this day. So in Japan they have them fight. Oh my God, that's crazy. They were also one popular um, pet in Japan. And um, although, oh, in China, they make them fight. 
and also practice of keeping them as declined since the uh, 19th century. They are they can still be found in pet pet shop there. Wow, that's crazy, right? But anyway, in Japan, the the mole cricket is seen as a symbol of fall. In Africa, there are several beliefs concerning cricket in Africa. And uh, and one idea is that crickets tell you a, a new lover is about to enter your life. Um, however, other beliefs tell us that crickets mean somebody has a secret that is about to be exposed. So hearing on so hearing on tells you that you need to be careful. In Europe, in, um, there are many conflicting views about cricket. In some part of, of the continent, crickets in the house as is seen as a good luck. They, uh, and they mustn't be killed or your luck will be lost. A similar belief in some part of Europe is that a cricket in the house foretell a death. And to prevent the death, you will, you will have to kill the cricket. However, yet another belief is that the cricket hears you want. A cr if a cricket hears hears you want to kill it, other cricket will come to your house and eat all your clothes. <laughs> so if a cricket hears that you want to kill it, so the other cricket will come and eat all your clothes. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. According to the all European folk remedy, Crickets can also chew of people's worth. Yeah, they say that. They say crickets can can do that. Okay, spiritual symbolism. In modern spiritual belief, cricket also have a deep symbol symbolism for many people, often related to tradition and belief about cricket. They are usually thought to bring good luck and happiness as well as success and longevity. And they can um, protect your home from bad vibration. Yeah, vibration is another one. The crickets can, you know, remove, you know. If you're in low vibration, they can help you up if you have vibration. Cricket also symbolizes intelligence and creativity, encouraging, to, encouraging, encourage, encouraging you to pursue your goal and follow your own path. Since they are grounded but um, highly sensitive due to their uh, anthony, they represent a connection between the earthly realm and the world of the spirits. And they are also associated with intuition and being able to trust one's judgment. They sometimes represent being able to take a leap of faith, whether that be in your professional life, your love life, or in any else right what does it mean to see a cricket as you have seen crickets have different meaning to to people in different part of the world so and to um so interpreting what it means if you see one can be challenging however very little in this world happened by coincidence and if and seeing or hearing a cricket either in your in your real life in real life or in your dreams can carry a powerful and important message for this reason you should ser search within yourself and try to find the meaning through through calm reflection and deep um through and meditation deep thought and meditation then by thinking about the symbol symbolism and meaning of that cricket can have you will be able to find out the message meant for you. Meditation is very important, right? So that's why when I saw that cricket, I went, I I went and pray and I meditate. And then I asked the most high that if, you know, this cricket came for good. And I felt that the cricket came to, to give me, you know, good tiding. And so um, I prayed and I thank the most high, I thank my ancestors and the angels for, you know, thinking about me for bringing that message. But I just didn't want the cricket to stay, you know, in my house um, too long. And it, it did what he needed to do. And then after that, it left. And so, um, so meditation is a good thing. One, good luck or fortune, happiness or good news.
Okay, so one of the most widespread beliefs that about crick crickets is that they are um, omen of good luck, fortune, happiness, and good news. So the most obvious meaning of seeing one could be that sometimes good is about to happen. Something good is about to happen. This is especially true if you see one in your house. Sometimes it can uh, be hard to interpret this kind of sign, but later when the well, when the welcome event occur, you will be able to look back and realize that this was the event seen foretell, you know, by the cricket, right? Okay. <sighs> Bear with me. <laughs> okay, so the one, a new child. Cricket associated with fertility. See, to see one, uh, uh, so seeing one could tell you that a new child is on the way. If you are trying to um, for a baby, perhaps seeing a cricket could be a sign not to give up because the baby will arrive soon. Ultimately, the message could be about someone else telling you someone close to you is about to be get pregnant. I know that um, fish, if you see fish or you're eating fish, either someone is pregnant or you're about to get pregnant or you pregnant. Someone is pregnant or you pregnant. If you see fish in your dream, you're eating fish. But it depends. So you have, still have to ask because they have different meaning. Take the in initiative. Cricket symbolize taking the initiative by using your creativity to reach your goal. So if it one appears to you, it could be a message that that you need to be um, more proactive and think outside of the box if you want things to done. Are you involved in some kind of project? But getting so you guys get the get the gist of that. Okay, don't don't conform conform to um, to please others others. Hearing a cricket chirping um, can sometimes be a message to you to be yourself rather than conforming um, to other other people's idea to please them. Okay, so, uh, cricket singing their own song, and so so should you. Hear that? Mm -hmm. Stay grounded. Okay, cricket are. A symbol of staying grounded so if you are losing sight of who you are or whether you come from where you come from where you came from the cricket may be a message to remember to remember who you really are and stay grounded even as you aim high get in touch with your spiritual side although they are a symbol of being grounded Crickets also represent a connection with the spirit world due to their highly sensitive um, antennae, is it antennae, antennae, that can pick up um, sub subtle vibration and energy in the air. The spirit world due to their highly sensitive Antennas, antennae that can pick up subtle vibration and energy in the air. Hmm. Are you neglecting a, the spiritual aspect of your life? Then the cricket may be reminding, be a reminder to make more time for spirituality and spiritual development. Take a leap of faith. Sometimes in life, you know where you want to go. Or oh, what you want to do, but we just don't have the courage to take the first that first step. And when we are feeling like this, the cricket can appear to urge us to take a leap of faith. Okay, it's getting dark, so I'm trying to hurry up. Okay, <clears throat> what does it mean? To, uh, if you dream of cricket, here in a cricket, if you, okay, um, cricket may also appear in your dreams and hear a few of possibility and inter interpretation of cricket when you hear in your dream. If you hear uh, the sound of a cricket chirping in your dream, it may mean that good fortune is coming your way. Another meaning is that a big change is coming to your life, so you should be ready to embrace that change to um, fully be to benefit fully. A cricket landing on you or near you 
if a cricket lands on 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 you or near you, it could mean that you um on dolly worry about something in in your life. So you should take time to relax, let go of your stress. Stepping on a cricket. If you realize you have stepped on a cricket in your dream is a bad omen that some kind of misfortune is on the way. Ooh, a dead cricket. If you see a dead cricket, it is also a bad omen and it may mean that you have made a bad decision and are only now beginning to realize it. A positive sign with several possibility meaning. Um, so as we have seen, crickets can symbolize different things according to different cultures. Usually crickets are positive signs and are welcome visitors, but in some cultures they are represent of ill omen too. So if you see or hear a cricket either in real life or in your dream, there can be several possible in, in interpretation. However, by searching within yourself through meditation and deep thinking, your intuition and instinct will help you find the true meaning of a cricket message. Okay, so seeing a cricket in your house is common, is common in places like Africa and Asia. Therefore, a lot of people in those continents don't see it as anything special. However, there is something special about seeing a cricket in your house. As much as it is normal to find them in your house since they are harmless, you have to pay attention to their presence. How, however, they show up in your house. There is something about cricket that is supernatural, and we are going to look into further detail. And remember, when you see them, the, um, there was a lady that says that she saw a cricket in her house, and she looked, you know, went and did her research, and she found out that the cr cricket was, was good luck. And then so she started videotaping the cricket and the cricket um, started um, posing and singing and uh, doing a big show for her. And um, so you can communicate with them and they will communicate back, but they just need to know that they are safe for them to be able to be around you because they're more afraid of you than you are of them. Whenever a cricket enters your house, it has come to show you how to live your life. Hmm. Pretty deep. Animal come to teach you how to live your life. Huh. Crickets has to come uh, has come to lead you into how to enjoy the coming phases of your life. For, furthermore, cricket has more uh, come to bear a divine message from the spirit to you in your household. This is why you should. Um, adore the presence of the um of the cricket however you find yourself wherever whenever you find yourself you find it in your house there is something magical about crickets even if you don't know of the um existence it will begin to make this beautiful distinct noise once you hear this noise you, uh, you will immediately know that a cricket has entered your house the sound of the cricket is an indication that it has come to give you an important message from the universe. You should pay attention. You should listen to the message of the cricket, however it shows up in your house. Crickets has a lot of symbol, symbolic meaning across many. Um, yeah, we know that. We talked about that, right? Okay, let's see. One, something good is about to happen to you in your life. As, you know, I'm trying to uh, bring that back up again. Uh, a member of your family is holding a um, family will receive good news. Or someone is holding a secret. A deeper intuition is needed. Um, you are entering into a good, um, one of the best time of your life. Be open-minded to receive direction from the universe concerning what, what to do. You know, if you have dreams, if you have things that you want to do, you should trust that the Most High is bringing you some something. Uh, learn to speak up. I mean, you know, stand up for yourself. Trust your intuition more. There is um, change of energy happening around you. I mean, it's just it's just so amazing, you know, um, about the cricket. 
change of energy. I mean, that is a beautiful thing, right? Um, fine, okay. So, basically, you guys, um, finding a cricket um, in your house is a good thing. And um, to find out, um, you know, how to deal with it, talk to the Most High, talk to the Father, he will tell you. And the other thing, too, is that animals are very important. Bugs, whatever, they're very important. They bring different messages. If you find a lot of, um, if you see that there's a fly, a bunch of fly coming into your house and it's nonstop, then that's, that's some, somebody's attacking you. There's so many different ways to find to find different things, right? So I can't really sit and do videos about how to do the stuff because most of the stuff, some of them you can do yourself, but most of the deep work needs to be by done by someone, okay? And um, someone you trust. It doesn't, ha you know, if you want that help, you have to talk to to the, to the Most High, talk to the Father. And please don't forget to invite your ancestors, right? Because a lot of us have um, pushed our spirit, our, our spirits away, our protectors or our ancestors away because they have told us for so long that is evil. So we think that is evil because we think it's evil. So we have shoo them away. So now we, we find out that it's not evil. So now we have to bring them back. And how do we do that? We do that by inviting them, by communicating. They, they are, they can hear you. They can hear you. Everything hears you, you know, they can hear you. So you have to invite them back. And then, you know, like, like, um, I have to tell you, um, before I started this work, I used to work with, you know, um, before I started, you know, focusing on us, basically, I used to work with other people, right? And one of the things that I know I went to this person's house one time, they were doing, you know, when I was celebrating Thanksgiving and all that stuff, you know, I wasn't really celebrating it, but I wasn't, I was celebrating kind of like, I didn't really make a big deal out of it like that. Cause he wasn't really in me, but if, if some, you know, someone would invite me, a client would invite me, I would go. That's what I mean by, you know, like that. And so, uh, one of, of the, the clients invited me to Thanksgiving. And one thing I noticed that she did, she actually, um, uh, you know, prepare a small plate. It wasn't a big plate, but she took a little small plate and put food in it and said, that's for my ancestors. And she put it outside. I was shocked because that's what we're supposed to be doing because our ancestors eat what we eat. So if we, just like when you take alcohol, you pour some out, you, you take in water, you pour some out for the ancestors. You do that is important. So now you inviting them back in. So that means you're saying that they welcome to come. So now what they're going to do, they're going to protect and support you because that's what they, they want to do for you. They want to support you, right? So it's important that we do that, okay? So um, I was trying to bring some more stuff, you know, but I can only bring things when the Most High tells me to. Um, I, you know me, I always, you know, when I do a vid, when I do videos, I do videos in one day. <laughs> I'll do like three or four videos a day, and then post them because because I'm pretty busy. It's really hard. I'm busy, and then I have a lot stuff that I'm doing. So I try to take, um, I try to take, uh, the time that I, you know, a little time I have to do what I can. <sighs> I love you guys. Our ancestors love you, but our father, the most high loves you even more. Ciao. <laughs> wow.